Hey, John Cruz here with your final cash and recap of 2015. Just got back from Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. Man, what a neat place. A beautiful place to visit. If you ever want to go on a vacation and you want to go fishing and you want to have a nice resort atmosphere, that area is beautiful. People are super nice. Um, but I went up there. The fishing was actually relatively tough. There are a ton of three and four pound smallmouth up in that part of the country we hit it at a real weird time that were kind of in between um you know from when those fish are out in their summer deep pattern to to come in shallow and um but i was able to figure it out just a little bit tried a bunch of different stuff but man the drop shot really came through for me um had 16 pounds the first day uh caught all of them on a drop shot using the uh cashin uh p eight forty four seven s uh, that's really become my go-to rod for, for drop shotting. Had a uh, leader. This one's about uh, 18 to 20 inches long, something like that, a little bit longer. Uh, the fish were really keyed in on uh, on on the bait fish. So I kind of like my leader a little bit longer when that's going on. Uh, I had a 12-pound high-vis yellow uh, Sunline SX1 braid, and then had a 6-pound Sunline uh, FC Sniper leader i feel like that six pound was was key the water was real real clear um this fish is as tough as it was to get them to bite i was trying to get every advantage i could but had 16 pounds the first day caught them on some some deeper humps in about 16 to 22 feet of water i went back the second day only caught two fish off of those places so i had to scramble around and caught a couple more fish i only weighed in four fish the second day had nine and a half pounds uh, and then that last day i caught a uh, caught a four pounder to start with then I started moving around, moving around, and I, I man, I, I found this place in practice, and I, I just didn't fish it. It had all the ingredients look just right, but I just didn't fish it until the third day of the tournament. Lo and behold, I probably caught about uh, 18 pounds there in about an hour and a half. Uh, went along with that four pounder I had from before, so I had 19 and a half pounds that last day and ended up in eighth place. Good way to finish up the year. Ended up in 22nd place in the points locked up that classic position so we are definitely going to grand lake next march for the bassmaster classic in 2016 so uh there that was my setup uh ended up being kind of a one rod todd uh in that tournament man i tried everything else i promise you i tried it all uh but the drop shot was was really key for me and i just used about three or four different baits uh kind of bounced around with different colors different shapes different uh ways i had it rigged um I never found anything that won anything that, that worked anything be better than anything else. I had to just keep giving them different looks. So uh, that was what was on the business end of the, the Gamakatsu split shot, drop shot hook. Uh, that's the Aaron Martin's version. And that thing is the deal. Uh, if you take your time and you fight the fish properly, you are not going to lose them. Um, it's just, I mean, it's, it's pretty much 100% land ratio. Uh, so that, that hook is the deal as long as you fight them properly. So uh can't wait to uh to get ready for for the classic but i'm gonna have to wait like four or five months so you're gonna have to wait a little while for your next cash in recap